Hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss one of the important lecture which is lipid composition and the organization of cell membrane. We have discussed the basic points regarding the biomembranes in our previous video. Here we will be discussing some of the important points regarding the lipid composition and the organization of the cell membrane. As we all know that phosphoglycerides, they are the main components of the membrane, right? So right here I'm writing which is phosphoglycerides are the main blocks of the membranes. And here we are discussing cell membranes. In addition to phosphoglycerides, you have sphingolipids, you have cholesterol, and third, which, have, which we have already discussed, is the phosphoglycerides. So all these three components are essential for the formation of the plasma membrane or cell membranes. The property which is important is the empipathic nature of these molecules. And what do you mean by that? Let's start with these sphingolipids and phosphoglycerides first. Usually these molecules have two distinct components. So as we are discussing sphingolipids and phosphoglycerides, I want to mention that they have two distinct compartments or two distinct components. One is the hydrophilic head. And second one is the hydrocarbon tail, which is also hydrophobic in nature. So for us, first I'm going to write water loving. They are water lovers because uh, they have this hydrophilic nature. And second is the water hater. So third one, which is cholesterol, is a type of steroid molecule. And it is mostly hydrophobic in nature. So because of this this nature of these phospholipids or phosphoglycerides and sphingolipids membrane is able or membranes structures are able to synthesize in any solution form so these lipid molecules they have this basic quality to basically synthesize or construct the cell membrane or the plasma membrane now, when you have the solution of these lipid molecules, these sphingolipids or phosphoglyceride molecules, what, what is going to happen is when you disturb the solution, they are going to basically form three types of structures. First structure is micelle, second liposomes, third is basically the phospholipid bilayer and this is going to happen because of their chemical property of this this they have two distinct portions that we have already discussed right so first structure that is going to form is the micelles and second is the liposomes what are the difference between these two as you can see here in case of uh, liposomes you have a bilayered structure so inside you'll have some phospholipid molecules. They are arranged and it will have an empty space in the center. On the other hand, in case of micelles, you don't have that specific space, which is, as you can see, I've shown in the yellow color. So you can say they have the single layer, but in this case you have two layers. And it is circular in structure. So these are known as liposomes. Third is the phospholipid bilayer and phospholipid bilayer is basically the layering of these two layering of the structures. For example, you have uh, one phospholipid molecule, they are literally arranged and forming one layer, then you have another layer of these molecules. And the formation of this membrane is basically dependent on the length of the tail. It is also dependent on the degree of saturation. It is dependent on the temperature. So depending upon all these factors, you're going to have different types of structures. So 
This was all about the lipid composition, the basic introduction of the lipid composition and the organization of the cell membrane. We'll cover some more points, some more, uh, you know, informative uh, facts about these lipids and the membrane. So please stay tuned and watch all these videos. These videos are going to help you to understand these topics. Thank you for watching the video.